Hi there, Gemini, and this is your February 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So let's take a look what's going on for those of you that are in the sign of Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign in terms of your love life and relationship. Please do know that while this is a general reading, it may or may not necessarily tuning in to each and every Gemini out there. So just keep that in mind. So if you feel connected with this reading, it could be speaking to you on a very personal level. Or And if you, you feel that it's not connecting with you, then maybe it's for someone else. Also, this can be playing out for you or someone that you are in concern with for example your partner or someone you know someone you're dating with it could be applicable vice versa whether you or someone else okay so let's take a look what's going on with you Gemini's for starters we do see that you are currently in a situation where in maybe you're not seeing things for what they truly are so there is an element of waiting and an element of confusion so i kind of feel that your nervous energy is heightening up as february goes on so i'm not really sure if that has something to do with mercury being in with pisces and you being the sign of gemini ruled by mercury you are somehow feeling this effect of you know you just you want to find out something but you really cannot find the answers there is something that you're not sure of there is something that there is a lack of clarity over something it could also be that you are in a situation that seems very stuck because we do have the card here of the eight of swords and the two of swords all together and then we also have the wheel of fortune along with the four of swords so this is like there is a situation here that is not progressing or a situation that is very very stuck or maybe you're just not seeing things for what they are so it somehow is requiring some form of contemplation on your part there is something that you really really need to think about there is something that maybe you need to decide upon but maybe you are putting it off for whatever reason we do have also the full card and the hangman as a foundation card of this reading so it makes me feel that maybe you have been acting upon impulse in the past not really thinking things through it could be that you know you were having a lot of fun and not really you know not really doubting anyone in your life but you are now at a point wherein there is something in your life that you are unsure of it could be something that is happening to you in a very psychological level it does not always have to be relating to someone else it could be relating to your life in general like maybe you are coming to a point wherein what is happiness towards you what is life for you is this all about you know just doing a waking up and then going to work and then sleeping at night all those kinds of things what is it that makes you feel alive is being in question here what is freedom to you are you happy with your life happy with your relationship so there's i kind of feel that there's just numerous things that are in being questioned and I'm not going to be surprised if some of you might feel depressed, not in a very negative way. I, I just don't see this in a very negative way. But you also cannot tell yourself that I'm happy right now. It just feels that I'm not so depressed, but I'm not also happy. It feels like life suddenly has become dull. So... I don't know if you're waiting for something, waiting for someone, or maybe you are just wanting to have a zest for life. 
So you do have a lot of question in your mind, and even with this reading, I don't know what what is it that you are in concern with. I just know that the energy for Gemini is seeking answers, seeking for something, but unable to grasp it, that kind of thing. It could be that you are also be becoming sensitive to the energies on a very collective level, like you are feeling the planetary alignments, what is happening in the sky, and this is affecting you, how you act, how you think, and how you feel with yourself and with the people that are around you as well. So this might result in taking ventures that you might regret for some of you. I'm not saying for all of you. For some of you, it will be more of you might be thinking about the past very, very strongly. It could be just you thinking about the past. It doesn't mean that you are going to take action. Maybe you are going to start thinking about the past. And for some of you, you might betray someone. That is a possibility. But I just kind of feel that you feel that life is boring and you need to change something. And for some of you, you might take some action for change. But you need to make sure that you are not betraying someone in the process. You know, it could be a white lie or a full blown betrayal but i kind of feel that you know just be mindful of the actions that you are about to take because there are some actions in our life wherein sometimes you can still take back what you have done you can apologize but there are certain things that you know some people just find it unforgivable those kinds of things so again this might be an action that you take that you initiate and also this can be just a situation wherein you're thinking about the past someone who has probably betrayed you in the past you're thinking about them and maybe you are wanting to open the doors to connect with that person again even though there is a point of me saying why would you want someone who betrays you to be in your life again so um yeah there is just a lot of things here that that seeks questions and seeks answers but i do know that there is really something of the past and conflict in the past is really showing up here maybe there are unanswered questions still lingering in your energy that you might want to to find out you know there is something that you want to find out so that there could be some form of clarity and contentment in your life so there is a form of uneasiness that can be in the surface here I do know that your mind is going to be very, very active. And even at this time, you're thinking a whole lot of things. And I have to warn you though, because I kind of feel that some of your thoughts are way too erratic or way too unpredictable to the point we're in. If you take action based upon what you think in a blink of an eye, I kind of feel that that might lead to some regrets. We do have the Five of Swords here and the Seven of Swords, so that is really um, a difficult energy because they are the cards of betrayal. Or maybe you're just thinking about someone who had who has disappointed you, or maybe you are thinking negatively about someone for whatever reason. You might have a, di a different reason overall, though. Maybe you are thinking that someone has betrayed you, but you don't have any clue. You don't know how they did it, but you just feel that they are doing that. But at the same time, this could just be you overthinking things. And it is not entirely that situation, which could lead to some form of misunderstandings and lead to some form of unnecessary arguments at the end so we do see here that you know before making any concrete 
decision making, you really, really need to take time to think about the facts, think about whatever information that you have at this time before you take action. Make sure that you have the facts, that you are seeing things clearly, and not just making any um, accusations to people without much thought maybe because you are emotionally wrecked or you know you are suddenly becoming emotionally reactive that is why you're saying one thing after another i just kind of feel that you need to collect your thoughts and to have a time to pause and meditate to make sure you're not just accusing someone of something that is just based on gossips those kinds of things so there is something that you are going to find answers on but you need to think about them very thoroughly and not just based on what you think by yourself you know you need to communicate to people you need to talk to the person who is involved and you know try to find answers trying trying to find the truth it may be difficult to do so but the truth is going to be revealed to you in the most purest way possible which is always a good thing and we do see here that instead of going with your mind go with what you feel what is really in your heart express them to people and i also feel that you know you might be able to talk to someone maybe to apologize to someone or maybe someone is going to contact you and apologize to you which will open doorways to something in your past that has left you a lot of scars and wounds those kinds of things so for the most part though some people might choose to cut off people in their life maybe they're thinking of cutting off someone or i don't know there is just a huge nervous energy that i'm picking up that a point we're in some of you might be thinking of someone and maybe thinking of a person that you have cut off in the past or maybe you're thinking about cutting off someone um, maybe they're not good for you anymore or whatever conclusions that you have at, and another point here is that you could be thinking about someone and wanting to change something in that relationship that the two of you have to break the ice, to break whatever cycle that is going on in the relationship. There is something that needs to change and that is something that you are going to be pursuing um, at this time. We also have this seventh house and Gemini and the Rahu coming up over here so and speaking of this we do have rahu going into the sign of gemini on may so i don't know if that is significant for some of you guys but partnership in general and that nervous energy nervous and curious energy is coming in strongly so a lot of you will be thinking so much about relationships so i did pick um few cards over here to give you guys advice or what you really need to know at this time to help you navigate this energy much more and i got the first card here with archangel michael saying this this situation is already resolved so this is telling us that there is definitely a focus of relationship issue that you are in concern with either it will be resolved within the month or you will find yourself getting your answers to be received within the month or you know it could be that things are already done with you know you don't need to overanalyze things those kinds of stuff we also have here to nurture yourself and not be too um too hard on yourself because i kind of feel that you know you might be thinking so much and thinking drastically and there's a lot of mental agony going on here wherein you might accidentally um not take care of yourself or you know you might just do things 
like thinking too much to a point of paranoia, which le- which may or may not lead you to ruining yourself in the process. So I can feel that loving yourself is going to be playing an important role here and you know take care of yourself and also you have here the card to follow your heart and like i said earlier you don't have to make things complicated you know make things simple and say what's really in your heart you don't need to think too hard and too much about things just express what is in your heart and if you want to clear out the communication or a confusion with someone i kind of feel that you know just take the action you know speak from the heart not really from anger or anything like that but coming from how you feel about a certain scenario and what it does for you and how you want things to get resolved or not resolved in the process just speak what is truly in your heart so i would say act intuitively though i that's pretty much hard to do for a lot of gemini's because of that mental factor in them and with the pisces energy that can be quite difficult but this is a good time to change pace wherein you are not going to be acting too much on a logical level but more so with from a feeling type of level so um yeah this is my reading for you guys gemini i hope that it has given you insight and clarity to your personal situation and um yeah i'll see you guys again next time and if you want a more personal reading just like this one you can book a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com and I'll see you guys next month.